This is Fitness Blender's 10 minute total body physio ball workout routine. All you're going to need for this workout routine is a physio ball, an exercise mat, and an open wall. For this routine, we're going to be doing nine different physio ball exercises for 45 seconds each. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. This is a physio ball hamstring curl. Go ahead and lay flat out on your back and place the physio ball underneath your ankles. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Go ahead and bring those hips up off the mat nice and high and then draw those feet in towards that butt. To make this harder version, you're going to actually shove those hips up really nice and high, trying to keep a straight line from your knee to your shoulder. Otherwise, if you want to be a little bit easier, keep those hips nice and low. Bend at the hip and at the knee, so as you draw those feet in, those hips don't actually change height. Otherwise, you're going to do the harder version that we're showing here by trying to shove those hips up at the same time as drawing those feet in. Should be feeling this really intensely through the back of that hamstring. So from the base of that knee all the way up through that butt. You're also going to be feeling it in that lower back as well as those triceps in the rear of that shoulder to help you stabilize. We're almost done. Just one more repetition. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is a physio ball push up. So get that ball underneath those thighs. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So start in similar to a regular push up position with those hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. This time that ball is going to be about the uh, middle of your thigh. The further out towards those toes you push it, the harder that push up's going to get. Now, as you pull that ball underneath you up those thighs or even onto those hips, that push up's going to get easier because the weight of those legs is actually going to work as counterbalance to get you back up from that push up. So, if you need to start with an easier push up, just pull that ball up closer to your stomach. Otherwise, the further out that ball goes, the harder it's going to be. Just keep that motion going. Try to dip as low as you can with that push up. Really try to drop down like you're almost trying to touch your face to the ground. So, have two more repetitions. One more. And let it relax. All right, next one is a physio ball crunch. You're going to be sitting up on top of the ball with this one. Just roll out so that ball is on that lower back. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So try to keep that ball and those hips completely stationary. So wrap over that ball as far as you can, stretching back over it, and then nice and slow, crunch forward like you're trying to fold those shoulders down into those hips. Just get a nice tight squeeze, and slowly drop it back out, as much range of motion, stretching over that ball as you can, and then crunch it back forward. Like I said though, main thing to focus on is not letting that ball move. You want it to stay completely stationary. A lot of people have a tendency to actually let that ball move as they crunch up and all that's doing is letting your body use a little bit of momentum, makes it a little bit easier and also it changes the leverage so your body doesn't have to work, those abs don't have to work as hard for this motion. So try to keep that ball completely stationary. Just got one more repetition, nice tight squeeze and let it relax. Alright, next one is a physio ball wall squat. Now you want to start with that ball on that lower back or those hips and those feet kicked out from underneath you just a little bit so they're not directly underneath. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Squat down nice and low just like you would with a traditional squat. Try to get those hips down to about knee level. Try to keep all your weight back in that heel. It's a nice slow motion. Keep it under control. Try not to dip too low. Just keep that motion nice and smooth. Trying to really work that range of motion. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Here's your last one right here, nice deep squat. And let it relax. All right, lay on your back for this next one. This is the physio ball, inner thigh squeezes. You want that ball up between those knees. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. All right, squeezing that ball between those knees. Just gonna nice and slow, squeeze in on that ball as tight as you can, then kind of let it relax back out. Just make sure you're keeping a grip on that ball, then squeeze it right back in. This is a nice, easy motion. 
If you want to get a little bit more calorie burn out of it, always tense those abdominal muscles while you're doing it. Sucking that belly button in nice and tight, shoving that lower back down to the ground, kind of almost doing a quarter crunch. Just keep those abs really nice and tensed. Try to keep as much of that leg tense as you can through that quadricep and that hamstring. Then focus on a nice tight squeeze, pulling in on that ball, and then slowly letting it relax but still keeping a little bit of a grip. Almost done. Just a couple more squeezes. One more, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, next one is a physio ball back extension. You want those feet up against the wall. Bring that ball all the way up against those thighs and then lay out over top of it. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Really press those toes into the wall to help you keep anchored so you don't tip over forward. Then slowly drop down, rounding over that ball as much as you possibly can. Then contract that lower back, arching back up really nice and high, getting up as high as you possibly can, but don't let that head tip up. You want to always be looking down towards the ground. And then nice and slow, wrap down over that ball again, then right back up. Really focus on trying to get as much range of motion out of this as you can comfortably. Don't hyperextend too far. You only want to get a really nice tight squeeze, then right back down over that ball. If you need to, you might have to work on your flexibility through that trunk to get a little more range of motion coming back up. Otherwise, just try to work through as much as you have. Just one more repetition. Wrap down over the ball, then arch up nice and high, and let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the fizzy ball tricep push-up. This is exactly like a regular push-up, except those hands are directly underneath those shoulders and elbows are going to stay tucked. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So same placement as you would for a regular uh, push-up on the ball. So on those thighs or on that stomach, wherever you need to. But this time, those hands are going to be directly under those shoulders. Squeeze those elbows to your sides as you drop down. Then nice and slow, press it right back up. Now just like a regular physio ball push-up, depending on where you place that ball, it's going to make it either easier or harder. The further out that ball is towards those feet, the harder. The closer it is up towards that stomach, the easier it's going to be. Just keep concentrating on that motion, trying to get as much range of motion out of it as possible. Trying to dip down, almost touching that nose to the ground, and then press it right back up, full extension on those arms. Just keep it going, we're almost done. And there's your last one right there and let it relax. All right, moving on to the last one. This is the physio ball abductor lifts. This is for your outside thigh. Just using that ball to kind of prop yourself up on. Go ahead and get ready and begin. So lean over on that ball. That bottom leg is actually going to be bent at that knee. So that foot is straight back behind you. That's what's going to give you your balance. And that top leg, that left leg is going to be lifting up nice and high. Back down, barely tap that toe to the ground. And then bring it straight back up as high as possible. Try to keep that upper body completely stationary. It's just a nice tight squeeze to that outside thigh and hip. Just keep that motion going. Almost done. Just two more repetitions. Your last one right here, and let it relax. All right, we're going to switch sides, do the same thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. So that left leg is going to be on the ground this time, that right leg is going to be the one coming up, leaning over to the left just a little bit, getting a nice tight squeeze on that right leg, lifting up as high as you possibly can. Back down to the ground, barely tap that toe to the ground, and right back up. You can get a little bit more out of this motion by keeping those abdominal muscles and that back completely tensed, really nice and tight, constantly concentrating on sucking that belly button in nice and tight towards your spine. Add a little extra toning motion into this one. Almost done. Two more. It's your last one right here and let it relax. Good job, you just completed this 10 minute physio ball workout routine.